Hello, this is Bama from Bama's Crochet Creations, and today I wanted to show you tip number three. This is uh, a tip for helping when you change colors, how to lock in the uh, change of color within the project right off the bat. So I'm going to complete the block of stitches of half double crochets. So this is the block that's completed. Now what some people do is when they are changing colors, they would take the new color and they would have brought it through with this loop. I don't do that for my projects. I would leave it like this, completed stitch, and just slip, make a hoop into the, that stitch, just tighten it a little bit, and as I'm attaching it here with a slip stitch, I actually, instead of using the thread that, or sorry, the yarn that you're using for threading, I actually use the tail, and I do what's called a locking stitch. Now, let me move this out of the way. So I would take that tail, put it through here, do another loop, and then just put that down at the back, grab now the yarn that you're gonna be using for the complete stitch, and finish that off there. Now you can tighten this, obviously, and we need two loops to make that chain. I'm gonna do this, tighten that up, and there you go. Now it goes a lot smoother when you're a little faster, a little bit more experience, but this is just a little slower to help you see in the video. So then I would proceed with the half double crochet and take care of this and this and take care of this. Now, so I've completed the half double crochet. I have the chain here, which obviously is not really tight right now, so just give it a little tug and there you go. So if I remove my hook and this tail that's here is actually locked in pretty good. Yes, you can still tighten it. Yes, you could still pull it through if you needed to out here. It's not going to allow me to do that right now. It's right in here, hidden tight. There we go. All right, sorry about that. So there's the tail. Now you can pull it through. Sure, no problem. You can tighten it but you can't pull it out. It's not gonna be able to be pulled out. So it just gives it a little bit, a little bit of added security before you actually darn this in afterwards as one of your ends. So that is my tip for today. I'm gonna to call that the locking tail stitch. <laughs> and then you would just proceed as normal, finish that off, and there you go. And then you're just doing your colors. Do the chain two, and then do the half double crochet, and then go from there. And there you go. So you give that a little tug on this side, a little tug here, and there you go. But that is secured in there. All right, great. I hope that you have any questions. Please email me, PM me from the link on the video. This is Bama from Bama's Crochet Creations. Cheers.